Anna Lang is not your typical PhD student. She is also one of the fastest female cyclists in the country. In just one season, Lang won six races on the national circuit and many other awards. Um, I started when I was an undergraduate just racing collegiately. Um, after I graduated and got a real job, I really didn't have time to, to ride or to train. Um, but coming back to graduate school, I started riding on the velodrome, on the track, and um, it really has taken off since then. I got a fir my first collegiate national title and then I added seven more to that and um, I'm now trying to go to, to the Olympics and, and really make it as an elite professional cyclist. Uh, what I love about cycling is the, the intensity of it, the, the tactics, the mind game of it, and of course the physical ability required. Um, I really flourish on the discipline of it. I, I love training. I do love training, but racing is, is just, um, my eyes light up from it. I love it. Her coach saw her talent right after the first sprint. Um, she just has the ability to ride a bike, um, go around corners at high rates of speed, ride in the rain. Um, she's not scared. You go around kind of slow and, and, and you wind it up and you wind it up and during that time I'm just I'm clearing my mind and clearing my mind and uh, I'm feeling my pedals as, as I'm just pushing over and just it's just intensifying just all of my all everything is just intensifying and then you go and then it's just everything is just unleashed um, and when you come around the corner and you look 20 feet ahead of you and you're going 40 miles an hour um, there's nothing like it. She won several races early in her career, and she loved collecting those championship jerseys. So the year, the year after I won my first collegiate title is when I won my first elite title, um, and that makes me really a true national champion. Um, and I followed up with lots of silver medals in the, the following years, but they'll, they'll become gold eventually. I guess I have an ego about it. I think that I can beat a lot of people, and I go out there and show that I can. And um, yeah, I also remain humble about it, but I, when I'm in the heat of the competitive moment, I. Um, I just want to win. I just want to win. Anna is focused on cycling, but she's also pursuing her PhD at the Jacobs School. She's most interested in earthquake engineering. I want to contribute to society one day and make a real impact. And um, going to grad school and riding is really the best of both worlds for me right now. After getting a bachelor's degree at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, Lang designed homes for a large engineering firm but a trip to Mexico after a major earthquake changed everything. Actually designing like a nine million dollar house for four people. Um, at the same time I did that I went down to Mexico after a massive earthquake down there and did some reconnaissance and um, really saw that the people who needed earthquake technology the most had, didn't have access to it and that really drove me to um, I wanted to do something more than designing houses for the top one percent of societies. Anna's one of eight female PhD candidates out of 58 in the structural engineering department at the Jacobs School. Being in the minority doesn't bother her. Not something I've ever uh, taken particular notice to, to being a minority. Um, I am going to, to even high school and into my undergraduate. Um, there are always a lot of uh, females in my, in my science and engineering classes. Um, I think it just takes a confident female to, to not shy away from math and science and, um, and really be, able, be in an environment where, where one can flourish. I think the key is to enjoy what you're doing, know that you're in an area where you can contribute and it excites you, um, and not worry about what's around you. Anna has her eyes set on getting a PhD, but her ultimate goal is to go to the 2012 Olympic Games in London. And in just two years, I've, I've come up to the world class level and that just that's really cool. Picture this you're almost out of time.